It is always a pleasure to welcome Joan Baez to our today's studios. It's something we've been doing for quite some time now. She's been a frequent visitor for many years during a career that has now spanned, is this possible, three decades? Yes, Sean. <laughs> yeah. The latest album is Speaking of Dreams. I keep on reading that there is a new Joan Baez out here. Is this well, true? I don't think in the last 30 years of career that I ever took the time to put the career, the music, the concerts, the records in first place. I always did something else first and let it go second. So right, right about now, if I don't take it very seriously, it'll sort of evaporate on me. So I decided to hire a manager, do all the things that people have to do to, um, to, to be serious about a career. Does that mean it's more of a business and less of a love? No, not at all. In fact, what's happened is that now that I have some kind of system going around me, um, I've begun to enjoy myself a lot more. I should have figured that out 10 years ago, but I didn't. So here I am doing it now, and um, it's a rather large and grand experiment, but I'm happy with it. You said it flippantly, like you should have figured it out several years ago. Yeah. Do you regret not doing it earlier? No. no, I don't. I don't. I've had an extraordinary career. I mean, it's goofy but it's gone on splendidly in different countries all over the world. And so now, you know, run off as a vocal coach and say, hey, how long do you think I have this working, the way it's working now? And he said, at least 10 years. So I thought, well, I, I, sh I owe it to, this is a major gift, my major gift. I owe it to that gift to take it more seriously while I still have it. Because the attitude is different, does it mean the music's different? Uh, music's better. I mean, I, I'm not pretending to be somebody else, and I'm sure people will think I'm pretending to be somebody else until they hear uh, what, what I do, which is what I've mostly done all my career, only I think better, and with musicians now, traveling with musicians and giving me a musical freedom that I haven't had. Is it all message music now, as it used to be? No, it didn't, it didn't used to be either, just that people associate me that way. No, hopefully one of the aims is that there's more music available to me when I use musicians and when I, you know, when I work on it in this fashion. But, you know, if somebody said to me the other day, oh, you're doing an evening of protest songs. Well, I've never done an evening of protest songs in my life, I hope. You know? yeah. um, so I'm a walking history lesson. There's nothing I can do to stop that now. So I don't really have to preach anymore. I, I, I work, you know, and I, I do... Um, I have a, human rights organization that keeps functioning and I said hey you guys run with it yeah. um, and they're all off in Sacramento at an anti-death penalty rally okay well I'm back here making music that's all right which isn't to say you look at the landscape and don't see any problems because Lord knows this is correct yeah anyway what Danny's Danny Walensky I should introduce right. is, is going to help us out what are you going to sing um, I say us because I'm leaving Go are ahead. you not going to stay and sing no, I heard no. you earlier what are you going to sing uh, Blackbird hey. Singing in the dead of night Take these broken wings and learn to fly All your life You're only waiting for this moment to arrive Blackbird singing in the dead of night Sunken eyes and learn to see all your life. You're only waiting for this moment to be free.
Thank you very much, John. Well done. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, Denny Walensky. Appreciate the album again is Speaking of Dreams. Come on back. Thanks. All right. We're going to come back in just a moment. More ahead on today right after this.